Hello YouTube. Uh, if you're watching this, it probably means you own a Nord Electro 3 or another Nord Electro and you've got a problem. Um, I moved to Seoul about four months ago and my lovely girlfriend just brought over my keyboard for me. And uh, like an idiot, I just, uh, you know, thought maybe I could plug it in and I'd be lucky enough. Turns out that was a really, really bad idea. Uh, I'm going to show you now how to switch it over from 110 volts to 230, which works in a lot of other places, including uh, Australia and Asia. Here we go. So the first thing you got to do is, you know, put the keyboard in a nice soft surface so you don't muck it up when you flip it over. So there we go. We've done it. Now there's one screw right on the bottom here, right in the middle. It's a little off centered from the other screws. You can see they're all lined up except one guy which is right here. So we're going to go ahead and pop him out right now. Now the next thing you want to do is flip it back over and there's a series of six screws connecting the red top face there to the rest of the board. Take all of those six screws out, which I'll do. All right, so I've taken my screws out. You can see right there, they just use a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, don't think you're going to need a computer size one, you just want a regular size Phillips head there. Okay, now on the side of the board you've got three screws here. What I did here is you want to take out this guy here, and the one on the top right there, and then this one will just keep the board all connected when you flip it open, sort of like the, the hood of a car, and again they're just Phillips head screwdrivers. We'll uh, do this for both sides and pop open the keyboard. I'll just uh, carefully pop open the board. Just opens up sort of like that. Though uh, I'm going to do it with both hands here, so I'll just switch it. Here we go. Here we go. All open up. Now, what I see here, I didn't see in some other videos, and I'm sure that you know some smart guys figured this out. But uh, around the power supply, there's a cage, so you got to take four of these screws off. This guy, this guy, this guy and that guy right there. Pull them out and then just you can flip the cage sort of over on its side right here. I'll get that done. So flip the cage on its side there. And see I've already switched this red switch right here. See it's on 230, but if you're looking to change it, it just flips back and forth like that from 115 to 230. Done. Easy as pie. Now, if you were as dumb as I was, uh, which is just to plug the thing in, you blew the fuse. Um, but you don't actually need to do that with the board open here. So shut everything back up and then turn it around and look at the back of the machine right where this is the on off switch right here. So sorry, there's a shadow right here. This is the fuse box or the fuse case right there, but that actually connects to the outside. So lock everything back up, put all your screws in, make sure you put your washers in. Okay, we're almost there. Um, <clears throat> if you've done everything, you went in, you switched the voltage, put the screws back in, plugged it in, tried to turn it on, and then nothing happened, um, you know, don't freak out or think that you just destroyed something that, uh, you know, is a very, very prized possession for you. It just means more than likely you blew the fuse. So go into the back, and right here you get this little screw. Um, now turn it. Let's see if I can do this on the video here. Oh, turn it, be careful, it's spring-loaded, so it can just pop out. Um, so just be careful. And then, here we go, it's just attached to the fuse there. You want to put a, t up to, uh, you know, 250A fuse in there. Uh, you get a lot of, like, miscellaneous electronic shops, lamp shops, um, some music shops, but I didn't really have any luck. Go to an electronic shop and they'll have it. And it just says up in the corner, I know it's fuzzy, 250A, uh, take it. Plug it in here, put in a new one, and you're going to be good to go. Check it out. And we are on. Alright, I know that was a choppy video. Sorry about the back and forth. Um, hope it helps, everybody. Safe travels. Have fun making music.